It's a new species. We call it Yark Skianok. That's a Scottish Gaelic name, and that pays homage to where it was found here in Scotland. The bones are preserved in three dimensions. It's 170 million years old, give or take, and it's big. This animal had a wingspan of over 2.5 meters. That is generally the size of the largest birds today. So already, way back in the Jurassic period, these pterosaurs were getting much larger than we used to think. As pterosaurs were flying animals, they had to be very, very light and had very thin bottom walls, uh, which means they're not very good for preservation or surviving for 170 millions, millions of years. That's a lot of time for one millimeter thick bone. And yet, Opterosaurus survived that process and it's preserved in three dimensions, fully intact, or as we call it, uh, articulated, as it would be in real life, which is an anomaly because things like this usually don't happen. Storosaurus are usually squashed because they're very delicate and very liberally get preserved, especially for formations that are not known to be yielding fossils of such preservation.